Um, and so in your, in, in your previous career mm -hmm. as a CPU architect, you're leveraging a billion unit ecosystem, lots of software, lots of software traces. You mm -hmm. kind of know the software that's being run on your processes yeah. to optimize for that. Yeah. Whereas in machine learning, we're currently going through this mm -hmm. fast pace iteration of all these different types of models, I mean, mm -hmm. new models every six weeks, less than everybody iterates. Mm -hmm. And yet you're designing architectures that won't come into production for another couple of years mm -hmm. and maybe used you know, for a decade. Right. Right. So how, how, how do you get the traces that you need? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With a company, you know, we say so few customers. Yeah, that, uh, that's actually a, a million dollar question because I, I, I'm thinking about that as well. So I try to hire this, uh, forming this thing I call workload performance architect just for this reason, right? Because uh, the algorithm application is constantly changing and we are, we are 150 people design CPU, right? So the direction we are setting is based on the application, right? So if we don't have good application trace, then the whole thing is to ask you something that is in the wrong target. So <clears throat> what we actually do is that, first of all, of course, there's a lot of benchmark actually available out there. And then sometimes you actually can guess from the literature or research, right, kind of guess in the direction where the thing is going. And you can ask the team, like for instance, with this workload analysis team, right, they can write in some kind of approximate benchmark for you. Right, so you may have a not real application, but you can kind of guess estimate with that kind of effort. 